Suratul Hujrat, the apartments. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, O you who believe, be not forward in the presence of Allah and His Messenger, and keep your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is hearing, knowing. So restrain your action until you find out about what the revelation and the inspiration has to say about the issue. O oh, you who believe, raise not your voices above the prophet's voice, nor speak loudly to him as you speak loudly one to another, lest your deeds become null while you perceive not. Surely those who lower their voices before Allah's messenger are they whose hearts Allah has proved for dutifulness, for them is forgiveness and a great reward. Those who call out to thee from behind the private apartments, most of them have no sense. And if they had patience till thou come out to them, it would be better for them, and Allah is forgiving, merciful. O oh, you who believe that if an unrighteous man come, brings you news, Look carefully into it, lest you harm a people in ignorance. Then be sorry for what you did. And we got to be very careful about uh, rumors of guilt. we got to figure out, okay, what's, whether it's war or, or whether it's just a personal issue, um, we can't be supporting any causes that we don't actually know about. And know that among you is the law's messenger, were he to obey you in many a matter, you would surely fall into distress. But Allah has endeared the faith to you, and has made it seemingly in your hearts, and he has made hateful to you disbelief, and transgression, and disobedience. Such are those who are rightly guided, a grace from Allah, and a favor, and Allah is knowing wise. And if two parties of the believers quarrel, make peace between them. And if one of them does wrong to the other, fight that which does wrong up till it return to Allah's command. Then if it returns, make peace between them with justice and act equitably. Surely Allah loves the equitable. You have more of those verses of love by and for God in the Quran than you do in the Bible, uh, 56 verses 15, um, 11 so-called New Testament, 4 Old Testament, but the Old Testament ones are much clearer and much more agreeable, um, well, except for the one verse, um, but, well, there's a couple verses uh, towards the end of the New Testament. Um, well, I wouldn't call it the New Testament, but they call it the New Testament, so, um, the believers are brethren, so make peace between your brethren and keep your duty to Allah, that mercy may be had on you. O oh, you who believe, let not people laugh at people, perchance they may be better than they. Neither find fault with your own people, nor call one another by nicknames. Evil is a bad name after faith, and whoso turns not, these it is that are the iniquitous. Now, nicknames are okay, but the nicknames that are insulting, uh, don't put these things on anybody. Um, treat people with, res with respect. You definitely want to, um, hey, if there's something bad to address, address that bad, but not by making fun of people. O oh, you who believe, avoid most of suspicion, for certainly suspicion in some cases is sin, and spine not, nor let some of you backbite others. Does one of you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother? You abhor it, and keep your duty to Allah. Surely Allah is off-returning, merciful. O oh, mankind, surely we have created you from a male and a female, and made you tribes and families, that you may know each other. Surely the noblest of you with Allah is most dutiful of you. Surely Allah is knowing, aware. 
obviously, it's not race or gender or tribe. It is a pulpit. that, you know, it's being dutiful about having the right beliefs and the right practices, orthodoxy and orthopraxy. The dwellers of the desert say we believe, say you believe not, say we submit, and faith has not yet entered into your hearts, and if you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not diminish aught of your deeds. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. The believers are only those who believe in Allah and his messenger. Then they doubt not and struggle hard with their wealth and their lives in the way of Allah. Such are the truthful ones. Say, would you apprise Allah of your religion? And Allah knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And Allah is knower of all things. They presume to lay thee under an obligation by becoming by becoming Muslim. Say, lay not under an obligation. Lay me not under an obligation by you, Islam. By your Islam, rather, Allah lays you under an obligation by guiding you to the faith. If you are truthful, surely Allah knows the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is seer of what you do. And so, Aslamu, you know, they're saying, well, but it's not the favor in surrendering to God. It's for the person who is surrendering to God. Um, it's not upon us, and we got to look back, well, a reminder about the gender neutral, the he and the him and that sort of thing, it's addressing everybody, when we're talking about God, we're not talking about he, uh, about male or female or, or, or both, um, and we're warned about this idea of calling, saying, I'm a believer, to distinguish oneself from the other Muslimin. Um, we need to, yes, we can categorize ourselves. We figure out whether we're a liberal or a fundamentalist or a conservative or a reformist. Um, we can think of those things, but it's better just to say we're Muslim. And we shouldn't use these terms to say, oh, I'm this and you're that and... Um, and, you know, whatever sect one follows, whether we divide it into the, se six, uh, into the 73 traditional categories or we have different names for these things. Um, yeah, it's important not to come up with the titles and it's important not to go around claiming your station to kind of set yourself apart. That's not the point. 